How's it going, Jixie mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with Fixation, which is a prequel to The Company of Myself. Uh, so, is that a sequel prequel? I guess. I mean, I like my sequels. Okay, so this is a Congregate game, or, you know, it's it's on Congregate, but it's sponsored by Armor Games. It wasn't on the hot or new. I just kind of, like, didn't like any of the hot and new stuff, and thought I'd go, hey, random game. And this is what I came up with. So it could be absolutely terrible, but no regrets. I shall enjoy this at my own cost. So what have we? Uh, try to forget about your problems for a second. For now, let's just think about either the S or down arrow key. Okay. okay. Dot, dot, dot. Well, we, we certainly got thrown into this, didn't we? Yes, that's good. Nothing else is important right now. Ah, oh, narrative. I love narrative. Let's forget about all of our difficulties and struggles. Let's just think about our speech and our breathing. I thought you said we only need to think of the down arrow. Dot dot dot. How do you feel? Dot dot dot. I feel like everything is wrong and I'm trying to ignore it. What's wrong with this house? It's a nice place. Look, you have like you have an office and a bedroom and a middle room. And there's no stairs to get to any of the rooms. Oh wait, that does kind of sound wrong, considering they're on different floors. Hmm. Maybe we should try something else. Look, Penelope convinced me to make this appointment. I imagine I'm a girl, but I'm just going to speak like myself. I'm a drag queen. You've come to spit out a bunch of psychology buzzwords at me, so I can pull an attitude adjustment out of nowhere. Can we make it quick? Man... I do not envy psychiatrists, they have like the hardest job ever. I mean, I know there's like cops and stuff that, you know, have to deal with, um... Well, I don't imagine it's regular drug lords and stuff. Whatever, I just pity psychiatrists because there's not much they can really do about depression and stuff. Do you think that seeing a shrink defines you as a weak person? I... maybe. Well then, before we can get anywhere, we'll have to jump that hurdle. For now, try to forget that I'm a psychologist. Trying to forget didn't work last time. Dot dot dot. There's a lot of dot dot dots here. Alright then, we can call a rain check on this appointment if you like. Oh, and if you're uninterested in a conversation at any point, you can skip through dialogues by holding down the down or S keys instead of tapping them. Right, okay. No, hang on, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to this narrative because I do I do like a good psychology story. Don't worry, it's alright. I became a psychologist so I could help people. But I can't help unless you want me to. I'll just leave my card on the table. Trust me, these mountains can be scaled, Catherine. Someday? Alright, yeah, okay, someday. Wonderful, I'll see you, um, someday. Alright, good session, Doc. I love how you walk. Ugh, he made me kind of nervous. Was I as easy to read as it looked? My legs are shaking. I need to calm down a little. Are we getting some scotch? Dot dot dot. Ugh, can't calm down if I'm just standing around like this. Maybe I just need to keep myself busy for a while. I can move around by pressing A or D or left and right arrow keys. Yeah, oh, okay. I walk a bit weirdly. God, I, fr I freaking strut. Look at me strut. Strutting my stuff. Can I jump? I can't jump. Or I have to learn to jump by the narrative telling me I can jump. Alright, so this seems nice. Uh, we're in a house. Yeah, there are no stairs. Oh, maybe a little exercise will help me clear my head. I can jump with the... I tried the up. I... Oh my... Okay, fine. Good, so I have to wait for them to teach me how to jump. I like it when my fridge is just hanging in the middle of nowhere. I should try to keep my grandfather's old advice in mind. Try not to worry so much, and don't be afraid to pause the game if you need to take a break. But game! You haven't told me how to pause the game. Oh, can I just pause like this? Okay, I can also get... Unlock a cheat code. Uh, I think I'm fine, thank you. Well, I gotta admit, I like the music of this place. And the story's quite interesting. Oh, I can double jump. Look at... I, I can jump on air. Well, who needs to walk when I can just keep jumping? Okay, next. What? Okay, so let's say this is our house. I don't. Maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe it's like a um, 
our psychiatrist's house. But would you seriously think this is convenient to jump to and fro all your furniture? Maybe we're not even in a house. Maybe we're underground. I mean, like, it does look like gravel on the bottom and the top of the game bit. Like that purple stuff, whatever it is, above the wood and below the wood. Alright, or are we just going through our mind? Is this us trying to overcome obstacles? Just a few more chores and I'll be done for the day. Will I really? Man, so good. I love this game. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Wow, how interactive. Nothing. Why did you need to say that? They're just adding dot, dot, dots for the sake of it. It's. Oh, I guess I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Do I jump to my death? Can I wall jump? No. Can I... Get clever? Yes! Phew, that actually wasn't so bad. Well, I thought the same about it. I thought I was going to die for sure, but, you know. Don't even know what going down there would... Alright, this seems normal to have in a house. Fucking lasers. Laser beams, really? Balls. This is not realistic to have in a house. Ow. Oh, at least I don't have to start at the very, very beginning. Yeah, okay. Balls. Cool. So, laser beams everywhere. For no particular reason. Hmm. I don't think I can get past this laser. Maybe this would be easier to figure out after a quick smoke. I can blow smoke by holding down the mouse button. I always blow smoke in the direction of the mouse cursor. Oh, that's just going to be inconvenient and loud. Eh. Ah. Take it. I've got to do keyboard and mouse. That's effort. Okay, we're a heavy smoker. That's good. Who the hell is that down there? Okay, so... There's these things in the way. Can I smoke them? Nope. God, are you sure you're not going to suffocate smoking all that? What about this? Yeah, perfect. It's all about that smoking. We are getting high. Oh, hey, Catherine. I didn't hear you come in. What's up, Penelope? Your psychiatrist sucked. Oh, not much. I'm going to visit my boyfriend in a few minutes. You're all right. You know, I forgot you had a boyfriend at all. Has he ever been here? In... Well, if he hasn't, I can see why. Fucking furniture and interior design is terrible. Thomas, I thought you two had met already. Nope, I don't even know what he looks like. You should bring him here sometime. I don't know, he keeps pretty busy. What kind of guy is too busy to come see his girlfriend's place? It'll be fun. I can even find something to do and leave for a while after I get to meet him. I bet he'd like your room. Yeah, I bet he'd like... Um, you know, dot, dot, dot. I'll ask him about it, but I'm not making any promises. He prefers his own apartment. Come on, I'm sure he'd love to stop by. Dot, dot, dot. All right, all right. Great, I'll try to mentally prepare myself. Oh, I'm saying that. Good. Yeah, no, no pressure. I'm going to mentally prepare myself. I'm seeing a psychiatrist, and you're inviting your boyfriend round. I'll mentally prepare myself. Yeah, yeah, I got to go for now. Can you get to the door for me? Oh, get the door. Okay, sure. Man, my friend rocks. She lets me see her boyfriend. All right, bye. Don't go without saying thank you. Don't don't leave me, please. Oh, okay, they're out. Okay, so I completely lost her now. I don't know where she's gone. But look, I can still blow smoke everywhere. Cool. Temporarily. I wonder why Penelope was so nervous about Thomas coming over. Maybe he's an alcoholic. Maybe he's bad news for you. Oh, we've both been on edge lately. Oh, that's fine. Ah, I can moonwalk. Well, I was moonwalking. Moonwalk! Okay, I can moonwalk sometimes. That's okay. Yes. Damn it, why can I only moonwalk in certain times of the day? Or, or more in certain places, but you know. Flowers. Die, flowers! Smoke the hell out of the flowers! Man, those are very good flowers that they can survive that much smoke. Yes. Oh, oh, uh -huh, great. I'll go all the way down there. All right, don't... It kind of feels like I've been totally absorbed with making progress lately. I start to feel worthless whenever I'm not doing something that I deem 
directly beneficial to my future, can that be healthy? Maybe time spent not making tangible progress is equally valuable. Well, they did put philosophical in the game tag, but I'm more concerned about how I can't get up this ledge. Oh, God, please. I hope that doesn't kill you. Ah! Please stay open for a bit. Just a bit longer. Fuck. Thank you. God, now I've got to find my way back up. Great. Man, I do not like heavy smokers, but, you know, this, this ability is very useful. I can't quite explain it, though. Oh, is it going to... No, it's not going to stay on, is it? Is it? Oh, God, really? I've got to be fast about it? Ugh! Damn, I want to meet Thomas. And his friend, Jerry. If anyone remembers those really good cartoons. Oh, God. No, no! No! God damn that fucking ledge! Oh, my God! Come on. Move! God fuck! Fucking damn it! The fucking furniture's everywhere in this place. All right, third time's a charm. Okay, right. Smoke it. Run it. Don't bump your head on any of the fucking floating platforms. Yes. 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 Move. We're nearly there. Yeah. Fine day we're having. Oh. <gasps> Is this the guy? Is this Thomas? Tom, what the hell's happened to you? You look like a chav. No, no. Ah, uh, really? Okay, that's fine. Just jump over here and... Man, I'm pretty awesome some of the time. Okay. Oh, that's it, is it? You're awesome some of the time. Well, alright, I'll go with that. Are you Tom? Aha, so you must be the famous Thomas. Where's Penelope? She ran off to the store, and only she and my mother refer to me like that. Please call me the Sphinx. You weird person. Th the Sphinx? I'm sorry, but that doesn't sound like a name to me. Can I call you Thomas? The Sphinx is my online handle. Everyone knows me by it. Shows what kind of person I am. Thomas is just a word someone else picked. Someone else? The kind of person you are? What do you mean by that? You've got a pharaoh's face and a lion's body. No, that's the Egyptian Sphinx. Enormous showcases of the waste that power enables. My name recalls the Greek Sphinx. A devious creature who slays anyone whose wits are not up to par. Okay. I don't think anyone's going to go to the Greek Sphinx first. And wait, wasn't she a chick? It, it doesn't matter. You sure you're the Thomas that Penelope is dating? Of course. Jeez, look at him run left and right. He's just panicking for his life now. Of course, and it's the Sphinx, please. Hmm. So I guess you guys have similar taste in movies? I am. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was rude. Sometimes I get flustered when confronted by such a beautiful woman. Don't, don't, don't cheat on my best friend. Dot, dot, dot. Um, is flattery your defense mechanism or what? It's, no, you must have thrown me off with that look in your eyes. Stop that. I'm sorry, it's just that... No, seriously, stop that. I guess that somehow or another, this works on Penelope. Good for you. Keep it up. But know that I am on to you. She means well and deserves to be treated with actual respect. Not this theatric nonsense. Dot, dot, dot. I've got some things to do. Yeah, like, get away from you, you creep. Stop looking at all my books. All right, cool. See you later. Uh, hey, Thomas. How? Oh, Catherine. I didn't see you there. What's up? Hey, no, don't touch. Is she? Is he following me now? Oh, he's just following each other. That's fine. So you and Thomas finally got to meet. Best friends yet? <laughs> he's cheating on you. I was just explaining to Catherine about my name. She says it sounds graceful yet quietly intimidating. He does not look intimidating. He looks like a twat. He he he, the Sphinx, so cute. Yep. Oh, Catherine, Thomas needs a place to stay for a few days. It's cool with you if he stays here, right? All right. What's wrong with his place? Nothing's wrong with my place. I just need somewhere to stay for a few days. It's not much to ask. It is when you really perfect me out right now. No, go away. Yeah, Catherine, come on. It's not much to ask. Uh, 
Great, I'll go grab my things. How? You can't go. Oh, well, you can go left, I guess. Would that leave us outside? But hold on. How did you float down here, Catherine, and survive? How do we survive such great fools that would normally kill us in real life? This game's backwards. All right, are you guys done? God damn it, Penelope. Why did you have to go and let him do that? What? We asked nicely. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, shit. Uh, kick him out? Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to be... Oh, so we left her. Alright, yeah, you're a heavy smoker. We get that. And now you're really high and you don't know where the fuck you are. I'm going to have to figure out this thing with Penelope soon. Alright. I'm really, really getting into this, actually. I've never got into a story like this before. But, I'm going to end the episode here. So this was Fixation. Actually, it's a really good game. I picked it out of nowhere. And I've seen, like, games that are absolutely stupid with higher ratings than this. And that's not fair. This game is really good. I've never got into a story like this. How has this not been a hot game before? All right, well, you know what? I might do more parts of this soon. I don't know when. It's just really cool. And I'd like to see where this goes. I'd like to see, like, do we... Do, does the bad guy get his comeuppance? Do we recover from our... It doesn't really sound like depression. It seems more like we're just being used. But, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. But anyway, look out for books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.